I am ready for the day, and I wish I wasn't ready for the assignment I have today. My assignment today is to go and get my tonsils checked. I have chronic bad breath, and it bothers me, and it bothers Bonnie, and so I want it fixed. Sinus fluid draining, constantly doing that, constantly doing that. And Bonnie said that when she got her tonsils out, all that drainage went away immediately, and she never had bad breath to begin with, but she had all of the stuff that would have caused bad breath, which I still do, like pockets and tonsil stones, all that garbage. That's disgusting. If you're throwing up, I get it. Anyway, I'm going to meet with a new doctor today, and he is going to take a look at me and do my pre-op today. I don't plan on getting my tonsils out at least until summertime's over because I'm not going to be out for four weeks during the summertime. That's just, I can't do it. Can't do it. But maybe late fall, but we're just getting prepped and ready so that we can get me on the books. And I gotta put my watch on. I just wound it so I gotta put the little thing back in and I love it. I want you guys to show me the letters that you wrote for our babysitter. It's Eliza's birthday and she is one of our absolute favorites. So you gotta tell me all about this. So this one's Boston's. Oh, <laughs> tell me all about it. These are gummy bears. These are gummy bears. How come? Because I, I love the gummy bears when she gave them to me. Oh, and is it because she likes gummy bears? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and her favorite color is blue. How do you know? How do you know? Because Bray told me. Olivia, I use your crayon, the color you know? one. How, how do you know her favorite color? Oh, that's not, not meant for that. Yes, you did. Oh. It's blue. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, Cody, tell me about yours. Let's see. Oh, so cute. I, I wrote the white like it's cute. Right? Uh oh. So I have to with that one. Yeah, that's okay. So that's Elaine. I used Olivia's colorful crayon. And it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be for scriptures. Oh, oh yeah, that so color. Okay. Scriptures. So does Eliza have blue eyes? Yeah. How do you know? She has like a blue screen eyes, I think. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You like it? Of course I love you it. You like mine? Of course I love it. Of course you know I love it. Okay, let's see the masterpiece. Let me see yours. Oh, come on. Why? You don't want me to see? Oh, too big. <laughs> hey, I have that problem every day. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let me read it. Dear Eliza, you are the best babysitter ever. You make me laugh and smile. I wish you were my sister. Oh. Oh, Olivia, that's so sweet. We love Eliza. She's one of our very favorite babysitters and she comes with her sister, Clarissa. Anyway, we love them. Okay, hand delivered. Oh, said, um, um, it's almost time to, to get Russell's, um, we're by Russell's friend. We absolutely are. I need to do a few more things around the house. What so, will we do today? Yes. We're gonna go get Russell a birthday present. I want you guys to take these over to Eliza and wish her the best, happiest birthday. Um, Mom, well, can I do this? Can I wrap them? No, we're not gonna wrap them. Okay. Um, thanks, Code. <laughs> Maybe you can show Eliza that dance for her birthday. No. When I was checking in, they were like, what are you here to see for? I'm like, my tonsils. Are you having chronic pain right now? Just bad breath. And the nurse, are you having sore throats all the time? Do you have tonsil or uh, strep throat all the time? Just bad breath. I mean, I do get sore throats quite a bit, but not like tonsillectomy, I guess. So I'm a little embarrassed, but at the same time, like I want to correct the problem. So bum deal, my insurance doesn't cover a tonsillectomy. So this will be all out of cash pocket. And he's going to get me the price right now. I'm, oh, I don't even want to know. And I don't even want to see. And I just don't even want to know how Bonnie's gonna think about this. Cause it, to her, it may be like, well, it's not worth that much, you know? I can deal with it or we can deal with it or, I don't know. For any dollar amount, you can deal with anything, right? I guess. I need some cute face though. What do you want to do? What is this? Sure. <laughs> that was a really good one. I liked it. I like that face. Oh, did you just eat your booger? Ka, ka, so gross. They're buggers. When do you think you're gonna go potty in the toilet? Cuz? Cuz? 
Calvin goes on the toilet. Are you gonna go on the toilet like Calvin does? Can no. you go pee pee? No. Why? Why? Calvin can stand. He can stand on our toilet. No. When we learn to go potty, we sit down and go potty. Calvin sits on our toilet. Mm-hmm. Are you going to? No, I'm too little. What? Yeah. You're not too little. You're a big boy. No. Olivia goes potty, Boston and Cody, and now it's your turn because you're the baby of the family, but now it's your turn. Yeah. and I put hands on the toilet. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> sure. Are you scared of the toilet? No. We don't, we're not scared, huh? The it's toilet's nice. You go on my toilet. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but well, I guess big. that's I guess that's only fair for but him to like I'm ask us. Like, do you go? And why is it like? Don't you <laughs> say that? But we're like, are you gonna go pee on the potty? Are you gonna do that? I think you should start potty training. Does Calvin go potty on the toilet? <laughs> then we can. <laughs> You're a big he boy. likes his toilet, or he likes his diapers, though. <laughs> I haven't eaten once today. Ooh, that looks and yummy. You, did you have lunch? I grabbed a little sandwich on the way down. From where? Just the gas station. Ew. I don't know. I was like, I need gas, and <laughs> gotta eat at the same time, so. So he told me, he's like. Oh yeah, yeah tell me how your appointment yeah. went. All I cared about, put the camera on me. <laughs> All Huh? I swear, we've been doing this for a long time, and sometimes I'm like, move the camera. He's <laughs> talking. <laughs> Actually, I just really want the camera on me at all times, not you. Well, between the two of you, you're gorgeous. Um, so. He was so cute. He woke up from his nap and he said, I want a cookie. And then he said, and I, when Brie gave him one, he said, I want two. <laughs> What a stink, what a stink. I was like, dirt. Bree, give him two. <laughs> two cookies. Um, You're pretty spoiled. Yeah. And then he was sitting here just like this and he whispered, he goes, I'm peeing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the potty training may have to start. Um, That's I depressing. Should, at nighttime, he's been taking ah. his... Put the camera on me. At nighttime? <laughs> And I tell you, what? Our jammies. Who peed on their jammies? Our jammies. I don't know what he's saying. Um, he at night he takes his diaper off, and he's getting pee like on his onesies and stuff. So I'm pretty sure it's time for potty training. Okay, camera on you. Okay. <laughs> tell me all about your appointment. So he's like, he wanted the whole scenario, and I feel like an idiot. Saying why I'm there, I'm like, no, I don't have sore throat, but I think my tonsils need to come out. <laughs> Do you have strep throat? No. <laughs> it was just like, ah, oh, this is bad. And I explained okay. to him, and he's like, okay, the next step really should be your tonsils coming out. And he's like, okay. I think that will help a lot. Really? Like, yeah. So he was on board with it. The only problem is, what? Select Med will only cover a tonsillectomy if you have like seven. OMG. Uh, seven recorded. What's it? Strep throat accounts from a doctor. Like, so the doctor has to come in and you have to have a whole thing of it saying, you've had strep throat seven times. And yeah, then they'll do a tonsillectomy. He's like, so I'm all fine. What's the cash price? He's like, what? Like, no, seriously. What's like, what am I looking at this procedure? He's like, it's expensive. I'm like, come on, what is it? I need to know. So the grand total, his fee, $400. Anesthesiology, $550. The doctor fee, or the hospital fee, $2,025. So $3,200, that's not bad. I was gonna say, when we've gone in and had surgeries and I've had insurance, it was like $1,500. Yeah. It might seem menial, like, oh, you have bad breath. It like, it's, it's. Affecting. It's affecting people. <laughs> well, it's. The camera on you now. It's, <laughs> I'm like, I like this dialogue, I, now I know. <laughs> It's been affecting Bonnie for a long time, and I've thought, well, I've done everything. Like, well, I floss, I, I I, really do have good oral hygiene. Oh, perfect oral hygiene. Um, but then it's like, okay, <clears throat> the fact that it's affecting Bonnie so much is, is in turn affecting me. Okay, and let me say one other thing. 
What was I gonna say? Oh, two things. You're way too attractive to have bad breath. Like, you're way too cute and like awesome and hot to have poo breath, okay? Number two, when you get older and you're an old man, I will not let you be like the stinky old man. This is like preventative hygiene I'm maintenance. Stinky man. Yeah, I don't want him to be the stinky man. I don't want our hey, grandkids to not da want to. Does daddy's breath stink? You are a stinky man. Son of a <laughs> I wear good smelling cologne all day. Joel smells wonderful. His hygiene is impeccable, but. I think it's something that needs to be taken care of. Yeah. We'll call and set up an appointment for the fall. We'll be taking cash donations for Joel's surgery. No, we... <laughs> I'll just get Olivia and Cody in Boston's piggy banks out. Hey, Do all. They got 21 bucks today between the three of them. <laughs> it's sad that the doctor only gets paid $300 to... $400. Oh, are you... well, I thought that too. I was like, man, his fee's really not high. But then I think about it. He is in surgery with you. The doctor was in surgery with you probably 35 minutes. So 400 bucks for 35 minutes of work. That's pretty good rate. That's pretty good rate. Got my salad. Okay, you two cuties, tell me why you're in town. Um, me and Dad are here. Well, I'm here for a harp camp, and Dad is here to help me. Yay! They're at harp camp. And Kevin said, okay, <gasps> what's what's some good places to eat? He said, what? Oh, <laughs> oh you yeah, tell me, you used to live there. That's where I lived. That building right in front of me. And that's where I met Ruby. Oh, I'm excited to show her in the video. Yep, that's where she met Ruby. Oh, cutie tootie. <laughs> Kevin wanted some Indian food. And we have not been inside of Tandoori Oven since they remodeled. This is a gas station. Anyway, it's the best Indian food we have. And we usually bring people here when they come into town because it's just one of those staple good places. Is it here? Do you like it? Um, of course I love it. Thank you. Yo. <laughs> Look, you all three have your baby. Who so brought the diapers? <laughs> well, seriously, who brought the diapers for a girl? <laughs> if the best way to keep your babies quiet during a movie is to put them on the put them on the teat, <laughs> get them fed. <laughs> we're gonna end the night by going. <laughs> Sorry, Abby. <laughs> on that note, we're gonna end the vlog. We're going to watch a movie. We're gonna go and watch a movie. <laughs> I mean, okay, say goodbye everybody!